Welcome back everybody. I thought I would just do a quick peach mead update since I transferred it. So if you didn't see the video of making this, please go back and watch that, then come back to this one. But um, it was in the primary for 20 days and then I transferred it to secondary, putting another one pound of peaches in there. Now what I did with the second round of peaches is almost the same as the first. What I did was I skinned them and then I cut them in chunks and I put them on the stove and boiled them for 10 minutes. Now I was going to put them in the freezer, freeze them so that way it broke down everything and then put it in. But once I started thinking about that, I didn't want to try and get it through the small hole. So I, de I decided to heat it up. And when it was heating up, I put a tiny bit of brown sugar, like eight the teaspoon. So it's not going to make too much of a difference. I almost wanted to get some more um, sugar in there to see if the yeast would eat that up too. Which obviously I'm not going to be able to tell. I am getting some bubbles but I think that's just from picking it up and moving it. But we'll have to see. Now, I have been taking my readings on this when I transferred them and all that. So I do know what the bricks are now. So if you remember from the first episode or making this, the bricks started out at 26. And when I transferred this to secondary, it was down to 11 bricks. So technically right now, if we drink this, it's going to be a 15.72% ABV, which is kind of high, but I'm glad I am keeping track of this because obviously if you've watched any of my other mead videos, all I did was make them and let them go. I have no clue what the ABV on those are. Also, another difference that most of you can probably tell this is starting to lighten up a lot. I'll put a picture up of primary versus secondary, but we're starting to see all that dark peach color go away and it's really starting to light up, lighten up, which is probably a good thing. Now, the other difference that I'm noticing on this one is this time all the peach stuff is at the bottom where in the first one, it was all at the top. So I'm not sure if it's because that, um, that yeast has eaten most of that honey away. So now the peaches are denser than the liquid. So that's why they're sinking. And before the, the honey was very dense and it was making it float. I'm not sure. If you guys know, please leave a comment below because I'm not sure. But it seems to be going well. Again, from the first video, I'm not going to do any taste tests on this. We're going to let it go in here for probably three to four weeks. Then I'll transfer it into another carboy and we will let it sit for probably almost a year. But we'll keep on taking um, readings to see uh, if our ABV is still going up. But that's about it. So let me know what you guys think. Does your um, fruit float in the primary if you put it in there? Or when you transfer it to secondary, does your fruit usually fall to the bottom? Don't forget to like this and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, happy brewing.